Paano sumulat ng theoretical framework? The theoretical framework is an important part of your research paper because it lays down the foundation or the theoretical lens upon which your study is based upon. Here are steps paano sumulat ng theoretical framework. Step number one, isulat mo yung mga relevant theories or concepts to your research topic. Example, in this study, the two primary theories that will direct the exploration of the elements influencing people's health behavior choices are the Bandura Social Cognitive Theory from 1986 and Rosenthal's Health Brief Model from 1974. So as you can see, the researchers laid down the two theories that will guide their research, the Social Cognitive Theory and the Health Belief Model. Step number two, after mo, i-describe yung theories or concepts that will be used in your study, you're going to describe the importance of these theories or concepts in your research at kung paano sila na-align sa yung research questions or hypothesis. Example, while the health belief model focuses on people's perceptions of susceptibility, severity, benefits, and barriers in decision-making related to health behaviors, the social cognitive theory focuses on the role of individual beliefs, self-efficacy, and observational learning in shaping health behaviors, which is relevant to this study. In the context of our study issue, these theories offer a thorough framework for analyzing the variables that affect people's health habits. So as you can see, the researcher described further their theories and describe how this theories is aligned to the research question. Step number three, gumawa ng conceptual framework. Ito yung written or visual representation ng mga key concepts and variables in your research studies and the connections between them. In doing this, pwede ka gumamit ng flowchart, diagram, o kaya narrative description. Example, the conceptual framework for this study is shown in figure one. It is based on the social cognitive theory and the health belief model and shows the hypothesized relationship between sleep duration, which is the independent variable, dietary habits, which is the mediator variable, physical activity levels, another mediator variable, and childhood obesity, which is the dependent variable. Step number four. After showing your conceptual framework, elaborate more yung mga key concepts or variables that you present in your conceptual framework. Example. The entire number of hours a youngster sleep each night is referred to as sleep duration. Dietary habits dietary habits includes the kinds and quantities of food that a kid eats as well as how often they are consumed and the size of portions they are. Physical activity levels shows how much and how intensely a child exercises each day, expressed in minutes. Shorter sleep duration is anticipated to be positively related with unhealthy eating habits and low levels of physical activity which in turn will be positively connected with an increased risk of juvenile obesity. This hypothesis is based on the social cognitive theory and the health belief model. So as you can see in this part, the researchers described or elaborated the key concepts in their conceptual framework as well as their definitions and their relationship to each other. If you have questions, comment it down below. Thank you so much for watching mga kawais researchers.